Ready to gold rush? I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are... We are losing our textures? Okay. <laughs> now it looks okay. Uh, yeah, we are going to start up with a tier three. Now, I think I might not quite have enough money to do everything that the tutorial wants just because of the fact that it wanted me to upgrade the parcel. And it probably assumed I was doing that uh, for the first time because it's only 20 grand the first time. But we did it a second time to satisfy the tutorial and we spent 30 grand. So we might not quite have enough, but that's okay. If we don't, you know, then we'll, if we can mine with the new tier three stuff, we can. If we can't, then we'll just do another session. I, I should say I'll do another session off camera with the tier two uh, to get the money that we need. Okay. So anyway, I'm excited to do this, man. I've been waiting a long time to get into tier three and let's uh head on out and do this so we need to go to the uh the workshop so let's get turned around here i still have my magnetite trailer on me whoops so let's head over to or no not the workshop who wants us to go to the machine shop because a lot of the stuff that we're going to buy um is going to be actually at the machinery place machine store so let's head on over there. I think I'm going to just park out here since I've got the trailer. Turn the lights off there. Okay, buy this shaker. All right, how much does this sucker cost? $76,000. Wow. Okay, well, that's what it wants us to do. So we buy the shaker. Okay, and what's next? Buy a duplex jig. That's this thing here. Okay, what's next? Buy a trauma. Okay, we got that. Buy the S Rocks sluice box. S Rocks sluice box over here. That's an expensive piece of steel. Now what? Buy an ST sluice box over here. <clears throat> this thing right here, I guess. Yep, ST sluice box. You can rent that stuff too, huh? Interesting. Buy a TDJ sluice box. That probably means Trommel and Duplex Jig Sluice Box. Okay, where's that at? That's over here. Okay. Buy a big power generator. That is a big power generator. 38,000 bucks. Okay. Buy a front end loader. We need to... Um, Either buy a large excavator or at least uh, sell the one we have or return it. And yeah, so whoo, that sucker's expensive. Finalize your purchase at the checkout. Okay, so let's go over here. So that all comes to two hundred ninety-two thousand six hundred thirty-two dollars, which we can certainly afford. Let's do it. Okay, use transport window to move your machinery to the parcel. All right, so um, yeah, we need to <clears throat> we need to either stop renting this and buy it, or just plain get rid of it. I think. So this is going to cost us some money just to transport this stuff. Whoo! Look at the price on that. We need to get our own uh, trucking company here. Okay, so that costs us $10,575. Move your machines, baby. All right, now what you want us to do? Drive the old Arnold parcel. Okay, so now it wants us to go back to our place. We still have $186,572, Mickey Hala. But uh, I'm sure we're going to have to spend more of that before this is all said and done. I probably, maybe I better not mess with the uh excavator until i know for sure oh my goodness you'd think i was drunk or something <laughs> i'm not promise 
Uh, anyway, um, yeah, we should probably hang on to the excavator until we know for sure we can operate in you know in tier three with with what we currently have because you know that's our fallback in case we can't. And if I unrent the the excavator, then I'm kind of going to be up a creek without a paddle. So. Oh, we're going to hit the fence. Ah, oh, man. We beat the tar out of this truck, and it's still still going. The only thing that's da been damaged on the truck is tires so far. Don't we need other things, though, like cables and stuff to move this stuff around? I don't, I don't know. I'm a little, little corn-fused here at the moment. <clears throat> but we'll just follow the, follow the tutorial. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's kind of what I been doing in this episode is following the tutorial why is there why is there a small excavator there i did not buy a small excavator what i'm confused i am really confused did the tutorial put it there Well, let's just see what happens here. <laughs> Unlock equipment store in tablet. Unlock equipment store. All right, that's going to cost us 20 grand right there. Yowzers. <sighs> okay, so I think what this means is we can order stuff from the equipment store and they deliver it to us. Oh yeah, okay. That is what that means. So that's that's gonna be handy. Okay. Now what's this? What's it want us to do? Buy a big transport crate. I already have one. Dog got it. All right. Well, we'll buy another one. See, that's the thing. You when you follow the tutorials like this, you have to kind of. Um, that's gonna probably be accessories, right? Sometimes you, you kind of get ahead of the tutorial, and then you end up having to do things twice. Okay, big transport crate. Uh, check out. Order. Shut down. Buy four five-meter steel cables. All right. That's probably also accessories. Here we go. So we want one, two, three, four of those. How are we doing on money? We still have $186,000. Pack stuff into big transport crate. Is it here already? Wow, that was fast. Oh, okay. So I see. Anything we buy from the store through that, through the tablet, then is staged here. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's throw all these cables in here. I was kind of wondering what this little pad was for. All right? Attach T DJ sluice boss to excavator with steel cables. All right. Let's bring this over here. I did not order that excavator. Is that... Do we own that now? Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of confused about that. Let's just use this one because that's what the tutorial is wanting us to do. Oh, you know what? I I wonder if this is my excavator because I did buy one of these a while back and just had it in storage. So I wonder if it just moved it here because it knew I was going to need it. That's my guess at this point. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's what's going on. Let's get the bucket off the ground and go into drive mode. Oh, we are 
We're we're bass backwards here. <laughs> okay. No. Nope. Keep hitting the wrong button. Knock it off, OG. Pay attention. <laughs> Attach T DJ sluice box excavator with steel cables. Okay. So let's uh get turned in the right direction here. Interesting that it also put my uh, magnetite trailer back here too. We're not going to win any races in this thing. Okay, turn this way. All right, so now what we want to do is grab these cables and I think I need to bring that the bucket down a little a little bit further. Let's also close the bucket. Because we're using it for lifting. All right. So you attach there and here. This is really cool. I'm really enjoying this game, you guys. If you haven't noticed. Okay. This goes here, goes there, and one more cable. All right, put the TDJ sluice box at the highlighted place. The highlighted place. Where's the highlighted place? It's probably over by that area over there, I'm guessing, because that's where the... Oh, you know, kind of the foundations, I guess you'd call them, are for that. Um, okay, there we go. Let's get into driving mode. Yeah, there it is. Okay, now it shows up. Okay, so we're going to drive down here. Now, this setup, I believe, is going to be similar to the setup that we had when we played the plo uh, the prologue right at the very first episode. Um, so we kind of already know a little bit about what it's going to be. Okay, so, um, oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. So this is up as high as it'll go, so I guess I need to lift the bucket up. All right, there we go. And then keep driving forward. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Okay, attach ST sluice box to excavator with steel cables. Okay. I just rode over the wooden stake again. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll come back. It always does. Okay, let's bring the cables down to there, maybe. And it, whoops, I think I'm going to back up just a little bit, too. Uh, and we should probably close the bucket. I'm just trying to get it right in the center here. Okay. So 
So we want you to be on this corner. And we want you to be on this corner. Put the ST sluice box at the highlighted place. Okay. So this must be Shaker Trummel sluice box, I'm guessing. Whoa, easy there. Easy there, fella. Okay, here we go. go ahead and I don't know how accurate I have to be in getting this in place uh, I have a feeling like it's the wrong direction too actually so maybe what I have to do whoop oh my goodness easy there OG my word Maybe we have to come around the other side there. I'm going to break something if we're not careful here. Alright, that's about as far as I can go that way. Um, I think we're going to have to probably hook this up the other direction to get this to work because I can't position it the way it wants me to so okay well if that's what we got to do whoa baby I hope those are strong cables okay so I'm gonna uh, set it down and reconnect to it the other direction and then we should be able to just slide it right in there at least I think that's what <laughs> we got to do oh my goodness All right, I don't know if this is enough to do this, but let's try it. Whoops. It's kind of hard to get in position. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. Okay. Uh, attach S Rocks sluice box to the excavator with steel cables. Okay. Yeah, that one was a little, little trickier just because it was, you know, the opposite direction. It would have been nice if the game wanted to just put it in the right direction in the first place, but nothing's ever easy, right? Okay, so we want the front cable here. And this front cable here. Rear cable's back here. Yeah. Oops. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Can't just go like freaking hog wild on this. All right. Okay, so we got to figure out which direction we have to go at. This particular sluice box doesn't look like it. I mean, it does have an in and an out, but kind of looks just the same no matter what on both ends. I'm starting to think, though, that we probably have it the wrong direction, but let's just see what it does. Yeah, uh, if the in is the side that's towards us, it's got it. We got it reversed. Stock on it. I wish they'd set it the right direction 
Okay. This is not as easy as it looks, man. It really is not. I wonder if I could have done this from up above. That should pop it in. There we go. Finally. Oh my goodness. What a pain in the butt that was. Okay. All right, let's just go back down this way. Run over the stakes. Okay, attach trommel to the excavator with steel cables. Gotcha. Okay, that's about as close to the center as we're going to get. Let's see if we, we can make this work. Oh, dang it. I can't find the freaking cables now. Okay, here. Let's just take them off of here and redo them. Since I can't see them where they are. Uh, actually, can we find this one over here? Yeah, that one's there. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. And I sure hope I got this going the right direction. Uh, here's the next cable. And the final cable. Okay. Okay, we got the trommel on. Now it's a matter of seeing if we have it going the right freaking direction. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go up there and see what happens. Actually, you know what? Before I drive all the way over there, does this have like an in and an out indicator? The motor's on that side. All right, let's go take a look and see where this is supposed to go. I think it goes here, uh, along this thing here. So that probably means we want the motor. I mean, I don't know where we want the motor. Oh, okay, so we want the two holes there. Okay, that helps. All right, so the holes have to be on kind of on the right-hand side. So that means we have this bass backwards unless we can put it up in place from up here, which we might be able to do if we draw, if we drove it over here, we might be able to, oh, okay. Yeah, we could probably drop it in place from up here. Okay. I think that'll work if I'm figuring this correctly. Oh, look at that. All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, attach duplex jig to excavator with steel cables. All right. Let's go do that next. That went in easier than I thought it was going to. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take, the, we'll take easy whenever we can get it because we don't often get easy, you know? Hopefully these chains don't catch on anything. You know what? Why don't we um Why don't we go to sleep? 
Since midnight passed already anyway. Hello, turn the thing off. Lights off, engine off. Um, and finish this off in the light. I'm also gonna go to the settings. And the time scale's already on 12, okay. Yeah, let's just sleep so that way we can get morning and get some light going. Look at that, guys. That's our new front loader. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Okay, so we'll sleep till dawn. There we go. Now we have a little bit more light to work with. Limited time off for Glacier Creek Spring something or other something something. Okay. All right. I want to look at something here. As I recall, the du duplex jig is going to go into the thingy at a right angle, so... That is probably the input, I'm guessing. So we probably have to put it in this direction. So I think we want to be on that side of it. You know what? I'm starting to think I got this the wrong way around. Yeah, it looks like the pipe thing's on the other side. Dog on it. All right. Well, let's just... Uh, Put it down here. Hopefully that'll snap in place in a second. There we go. Okay. Attach shaker to the excavator with steel cables. All right. We'll see. Like I said earlier, <laughs> that shaker... Seems bigger than the steel cable itself, or I mean than the excavator itself, but we'll see. We'll see what it does. Okay, so let's see here. The cables are kind of in a tough to get spot. That we can put there. I think this is the front cable here. Nope, that's the one going on that side. Okay. That's the one we want. Okay, so we'll put this here. And then I guess we need to... Can we get over on the other side here? Hmm. Okay, let's go back this way. Jump up here. Jump up here. There we go. Okay, this is the back cable here. And this is the front cable. Alright, we got it. Now it's just a matter of seeing if this little excavator can pick that thing up. <laughs> It has to, because that's what the tutorials wants us to do, so. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. You would think this thing would be like endoing right now. But, I guess not. Okay, let's go. Looks like we have to back up a little bit here. Oh, there it goes. All right. Attach power generator to the excavator with steel cables. I know that at least one of you guys watching this series um, has operated an excavator in real life because you told me so in the comments. Isn't this excavator too small for lifting something like that? It just seems to me like it is. What do you think? Uh, I, have, I don't really know what side we need to go on, so I'm going to attach it from this side and hopefully that'll be correct I mean this is a container with some stuff inside of it but it's not completely solid so maybe this little guy could lift that but that shaker man I don't know I find that one a little hard to swallow <laughs> so we want you right here And we want you right here. Uh, can I get over there? Yeah.
Here we go. Okay. Well, this little feller sure sure has no trouble lifting that thing. That's as high as I can get it. The bucket's completely extended, as is the arm and the stick. Okay. It wants us to take it over here. I mean, if I, I really actually ran into a problem, I could use the big excavator, but the tutorial obviously expects us to use this one, so I'm just going to stick with what the tutorial's doing. Oh, man, this thing is swinging dangerously. Okay, let's let it calm down a little, <laughs> a little bit. It's going to break out the glass in my uh, my cabin here. There we go. I think that's probably a good spot. Whew, okay. I don't know. That's That seemed just a little bit stressful. <laughs> All right. Buy three buckets. Really? Come on, dude. I already have a bazillion buckets. Okay. So we'll just leave that there for now. Uh, I should be able to buy those from the tablet, right? Uh, equipment store. Accessories. God bless the person who invented the bucket. Don't be afraid of buying lots of them. You can never have too many. Okay. Check out. Order. Shut down. Okay. Put two buckets under the du uh, duplex jig. Uh, that stuff's probably all the way over here now, isn't it? Uh, you know what, though? We got that little transport crate thingamadoodle we can use to bring them over here. This is nice that we can buy stuff and have it delivered to our parcel now. So we have to run into town every time we need something. That's going to save a lot of time. Okay, put a bucket on the ST sluice box up here. Yeah, I remember doing this in the prologue. Looks like we can have up to three buckets there. Buy two high voltage power cables in the online shop. Okay. Buy a low voltage power cable extension cord in the online shop. Yeah, why don't you just tell me to buy everything right now so I don't have to keep running back and forth? Low voltage power cable right here. Okay, now what? Buy a low voltage power cable extension cord. Then isn't that what I just bought? All right, hold on. Accessories. Low voltage power cable. That's got to be what they want. Didn't I just buy one? Uh, all right, Houston, what are we missing here? Low voltage power cable extension cord in the online shop. It wouldn't be under, I don't think it would be under equipment. Are they talking about the coupler thingy? I bet you that's what they want me to buy, actually. Here, bring that all the way to the top. These are parts. It's probably 
I would think that's an accessory. Low voltage power cable extension cord. That is not an extension cord. That is a coupler. All right, and that's what they wanted me to buy. Buy two low voltage power cable. I just did. Dang it. <laughs> okay, now we got to buy two more. Oh, well, you can never have too many power cords, right? All right. Connect shaker to power generator with high voltage power cable. Okay, let's grab our uh, little crate thingy and transport all that stuff back over here. There must be a limit on how many things you can put in here because every time I've tried to do this, it always seems to drop a couple things. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Okay. Well, let's bring this stuff over anyways. Okay, so low voltage power. Uh, connect shaker to power generator with a high voltage power cable. Okay. So this goes here. And goes here. All right, connect Trommel to power generator with a high voltage power cable. Oh, nice. It puts a little a label on there. That's cool. Connect uh, duplex jigs to the peg generator with a low voltage cable. Use extension cord if necessary. Okay. Here, let me go. Well, I want to go grab those other two extension cords that we left behind. So let me go grab those real quick. Otherwise, I'll forget they're there and then they'll go to waste. Well, actually, I can see them, so I probably would eventually notice that. Okay, duplex jig power connection. Right here. Now, uh, let's just take the shortest path up here. There we go. Buy a big diesel water pump in the online shop. You sure like to spend my money, tutorial. Big diesel water pump in the online shop. Okay, so let's go here. Uh, these are probably trailers, right? Big diesel water pump. $8,000 make you holla. This online shop rocks. Attach the big diesel water pump to the pickup. Okay. All right, let's go uh, pick up our new pump, which, uh, oh, there it is. I was going to say, where is it? I don't see it. Oh, did I accidentally put the brake on? Looks like I did. Okay. Man, this is taking a lot longer to set up than I thought it was going to. <laughs> it's fun, though. I am really enjoying myself here. Okay. Park the big diesel water pump at the highlighted place. All right. Right next to the creek. That makes sense. Detach the water pump. Buy two huge water hoses in the online shop. I already got one, but I'm going to have to buy two because the tutorial wants me to. Okay. 
so let's just park right there. Online shop. We want uh, accessories, probably. And huge water hoses. We want two of those. Buy a huge water splitter on the online shop. I wish it would give me a list and say, buy this, 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 and this at, in one shot. You know what I mean? It'd be nicer. But it doesn't. Okay, huge water splitter. $706 make you holler. Man, that does make me holler. All right. Buy one fat water hose in the online shop. Didn't I just buy two? Oh, no, fat water hose. Sorry. I bought the huge ones. Right, okay. Uh, so that's one of the red ones, which I also have a bunch of. But, again, that's what happens when you get ahead of the tutorial in this game. Did we buy it? Yeah. Okay. Connect the big diesel water pump to the water source with a huge water hose. Okay. All right. Let's go over there and pick all that stuff up. I guess. Yeah. We could just, let's just take this. After we leave these extra power cords that we bought and didn't need to. Well, you know what though? We might eventually need them. We probably will eventually need them. carry all of that stuff uh, nope doesn't look like it wants us to be able to carry these let's try it one more time nope okay yeah so these definitely seem to have a, a limit on how many items you can take in them at a time Oh, you know what? We need to set the this back to one. I like the fact that we can adjust that. That's very useful. Okay, so connect the big diesel water pump to the water source with the huge water hose. Do we not need a filter for these? All right, in. I guess we don't. I don't like that curving on itself. All right, that should work, I guess. No filter for these, eh? I don't remember seeing a filter for them. Now that's kind of... <laughs> doesn't look good. Okay, let's see if we can fix that. Just OCD stuff, you know what I mean? Alright, so if we wind it a little bit... Does that make that one part look a little nicer? No, let's do it from this side. There we go. That looks a little bit better. That's still pretty deep in the water, so I think we're good there. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't want us to put a filter on there. You'd think it would, but... Connect the huge water splitter to the big diesel water pump with a huge water hose. Okay, so let's go grab another huge water hose. Well, here, we'll just use this one that we have in the back of our pickup. All right, now I'm going to run this up here a little ways, even though it doesn't tell us to do so, because I think we need to. Now, a lot of stuff up here is going to need water, so let's just drop it right here. 
And then the water splitter. Where's the water splitter? It's over here. All right, and then connect that to there. Connect the huge water splitter to the big diesel water pump with the huge. Oh, it wants me to connect it straight to the. Well, wait a minute though. Why wouldn't I put it on the end of this hose instead? So I move it closer. Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but okay. I guess if that's what you want me to do. Uh, let's take this back off then. I'm not still not sure if we need that or not, so. No, it doesn't want to connect there either. All right, hold on a sec. Connect the huge water splitter to the big diesel water pump with the huge water hose. This is the huge water hose. That connects there. So why doesn't this connect into the end of this? That's what I would expect it to do. It's not giving me the option. That is really weird. Is it because it's too far away? <sighs> oh, do I use the red one with this? No, I don't use the red one with this. Do I? Or do I? No, that's a six inch diameter. All right, let's take a look at the journal and see if we can figure this out from the journal because I'm a little, a little stumped here. Tier three. Okay. So, see, this does indicate that there's supposed to be a filter on this. And this indicates here that I should be able to connect this splitter to this hose. So, why is that not working? But it is not giving me the option to connect this. All right. I'm a little corn fuzzled here. All right, guys. I rebooted the game. Um, so let's see if this works now. It still doesn't work. Connect the huge water splitter to the big diesel water pump with the huge water hose. That just, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. So you can't connect it straight to that. Here, you know what? Let's do something. Um, let's check ye old journal here. So uh, we are looking at trailers. Oh, wait a second. I guess they don't count that as a trailer. Um... Wash plants. Big diesel water pump. It's easier to start your tier three journey with the big diesel water pump as it is a bit cheaper and don't requires the big generator to run it. <laughs> well, what <laughs> I had to buy the big generator anyway, so what difference does that make? Uh, you'll be able to provide water to all required machines. The only thing you need to take care of is to have enough water in your claim for the pump. It can be a river, a lake, or the water tower. The more harsh conditions, big pumps are using the, using the huge water hose, so make sure you use proper splitter to water up mining machines. Okay, that doesn't really tell us anything we didn't already know. Um, huge water splitter. Okay, so, yeah, that's what we got. All right, and then um, that doesn't really help us because it just takes it out there and, yeah, okay. What about, um, let's see here, tablet, machine store, other machinery, other machinery, stationary fuel tank, wave table, golden nugginator. No, that's not what we want. Nighthawk parcel. 
trailers. Mobile fuel tank, mobile light trailer, small trailer, big trail trailer. Apparently they don't count the pump as a trailer, even though it's is a trailer. Gameplay systems, equipment store. Okay, so main hall, parts hall. Yeah, that's not telling us anything either. Well, all right. Um yeah, guys, I don't know. I'm a little a little corn fuzzled here. That obviously connects to there. Let's let's widen this up a little shorter. I mean, that shouldn't matter, but the problem is there's nothing there's, it's not giving me any connection indicator to connect to this. What am I missing? Yeah, I'm, I don't know, man. I'm like really stumped right at the moment. That is not connecting to that. Oh, wait a second. Oh, okay. You have to connect the hose to the connector, not the connector to the hose. Really? How bizarre is that? Okay, okay. You'd think, you know, one would work with the other, but apparently that is not the way it works. All right, here. Let's uh want that to be nice and straight. That is weird, man. You would think you would connect the connector to the hose, not the hose to the connector. I mean, I mean it's kind of like tomato tomato, right? But still, that really threw me for a loop there for a bit. Okay, so let's put this right here. And then we'll take the hose and connect that there. Uh, I don't like it going through here because eventually we're going to put like the conveyor belt thingy here. So let's um, let's bring it more around this way. Are you wrapping up? Yeah, you are. Okay, so we're going to bring it this way and then kind of cut it up this direction. There we go. That's better. I mean, we could even... I, I'll, I'm i going to probably redo a lot of this after the tutorial's done anyway. Uh, for example, we don't need... I'd rather have this pump closer to everything else so it's all together rather than over here and run this line longer, you know? Now, it did show in the tutorial, or in the journal rather that uh let's see where are we at guide it did show that there is a water filter for the large hose right here so we we need to go we need to get that all right so let's go back to our online store super convenient to be able to do this from here now and go to accessories and we want a water filter uh, no, parts. I'm sorry. It doesn't seem to indicate that there's a different sized filter for the big guy. Electric engine, reinforced electric engine. So... That's a little confusing. Are you suggesting that I can use the small water filter on the six inch hose? Is 
It doesn't even give me a... Well, that, that shouldn't work. I mean, because this is a 4-inch, and this is a 6-inch. I think... I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I only saw one water filter in that store, and it was the one for the 4-inch hose. Or 3-inch hose, or whatever size this hose actually is. Let me look at it again. So that would be under parts. Scroll all the way to the top. Water filter. That's the only thing that shows up, and that's the only thing I have seen in the store when I've actually physically been in the store. <gasps> oh, excuse me, guys. <sighs> Water pump filter, reinforced water pump filter, big water pump coil, reinforced big water pump coil, water pump fuse, big water pump pipe. Yeah, all right, I don't know. That something does not quite seem kosher here, but this obviously is showing a water filter connected to a giant water hose or a huge water hose. But I can't find it. So I guess we don't worry about it, and hopefully it doesn't cause us any problems later on, right? All right, what does the Quest want us to do? Connect huge water splitter to shaker with fat water hose. Okay, let's do that next. So we take the fat water hose. So we have four connections on here. All right, that's done. Buy six miner's mosses. Okay. We have $131,000 in change still, so we're still doing okay on money. So that's probably an accessory, maybe? No? Is it a part? No, it must be considered equipment. Okay. Hog pan mat. Miner's mosses. Okay, it wants us to buy six. All right, let's go pick up six miner's mosses. Let's use our pickup truck. Too bad the store isn't, uh, or the uh, staging area for the store isn't closer to the tablet, right? But this is still way better than driving into town. Can't complain. All right, I'm going to take this and put it a little closer to the front here. Okay, buy three miners grills. Oh, for Pete's sake, really? <laughs> Crap. Oh. All right, the thunderstorm, uh, thunderstorm is screwing us up here. All right, where are we at? We are putting the miners mosses in here and the grills. We already put uh, buckets under the dupe uh, duplex jigs. Well, I use cables and expert to move heavy equipment. Yeah, we we know that duplex jig hog pan. So we can we can move our hog pan stuff over, and put that on the end. You've started your mining journey from hog pan and you'll end it with one. Attach the hog pan with extension at the end of the wash plant system. The additional gold will be gathered on the hog pan mats. Nice. 
Okay, um, we're almost there, I think, but we got to get those doggone grills. Oh, maybe the thunderstorm's done now. There's no signal. Oh, come on, game. Really? This is like the worst possible timing. Okay, so it wants us to buy some grills. I'll tell you what, though. Why don't, here, let's shut this off. Why don't we do this? Let's grab this stuff here. I guess I better go get that carrying thingamadoodle. And let's move it over there. We won't actually hook it up, but we'll at least move it over there so it's there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? And I don't think we want a hog pen. Oh. Why can't I pick that up? Oh, because it's attached. Gotcha. Okay. Here, let's just... Um, well, here, we can put that in here. This is a hog pen with the pump attachment. But we don't need a pump for that other one. Can that go in there? I <laughs> I didn't think so. All right, well, let me move this stuff over here. I think I, I, think I hung on to the original hog pen. I mean, maybe the pump one works too. I'm not really sure. Okay, looks like we can set this down here. All right, just like that, I guess. Now, I think I may have put the other... Yeah, I put the original hog pen in here. Okay, let's see if that will attach. I was going to... Thinking about selling this, I'm glad I didn't. Okay, so that one will attach there, uh, but... It, will this one too? Oh, yeah, this one will too. Okay, so... Um, we're going to eventually set two of these up, right? So we'll use the, the pump one, uh, for the second setup because it looks like it'll work as well. It should, it just, you know, it doesn't have any water pumping into it. Okay. This goes here and then we should be able to put all of you guys here. Nice. Okay, so we got that set up. Um, oh, I wasn't supposed to set it up until <laughs> until the quest told us to, uh, even if it does at all. So if, if it does, then we'll just take it apart and reset it up. Hopefully that doesn't screw me up. Oh, this quest is kind of a pain in the butt. I mean, I like it because it's kind of showing me how to do things, but you really, it doesn't, the game doesn't like you to get ahead of it. That's the thing, you know? All right, so we got to buy these grills. We still have a thunderstorm. We might have to, yeah, dock on it. We're going to have to drive into town. Man, I hope that's all we got to buy. Let's, well, e even if it isn't, though, the problem is that we're going to, you know, the quest is, if the quest wants us to do it later, we're going to have to redo it. So, uh, and I've noticed that thunderstorms in this game can last like the entire friggin' day. So I'm not going to wait for that. I hope. I hope that's all. <laughs> okay, we're going to go into town and buy these. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, these are the miners' grills, and it wanted us to buy uh, three. Yeah, okay. I'm going to be pissed if I have to come back here again. We have $126,581, so we still have a nice chunk of change. But, you know, we're not doing... The tutorial isn't having us do the full setup, though, either. So some of it's there, but we're going to need another duplex jig and another froth setup and all that. But I'm not going to worry about that until I'm done with the tutorial and I can see how much money I have left over. I also have to decide what I'm going to do about the large excavator, too. If, if I feel like we need to keep one, then we're going to 
we're going to return the rental and buy one outright because, um, you know, I don't want to keep renting it if I don't need to. That was supposed to be just a temporary thing. Of course, it took me longer to get through Tier 2 than I thought it was going to, but even so, I still think that was the right move. Well, actually, you know what, though? The tutorial didn't have us buy one, so I should have just bought it outright, shouldn't I have? But I didn't know that. I thought the tutorial was going to have us buy one, so... Uh, live and learn, you know? Needless to say, at, we're at the point now to where if I would have just bought one in the first place, I, I would have been a little further ahead because, you know, so many days have gone by, but it is what it is. I'm learning learning, learning the game, and, you know, if I, if I do another series later on in the future, I'll, I'll know that it's probably better off just to buy that as soon as you can and not rent it. The drill, on the other hand, that was worth renting because we only needed it for a day or so. Okay, put the miner's grills on top of the mosses. I remember doing this in the prologue. Uh, there you go. Okay. By force loose brocks. Are you kidding me? Really? Oh, you mother. Oh, you know what, though? The storm's actually over, so, okay. We should be able to do this from the online store now. Yeah, seriously. You know, devs, if you're watching my videos, you probably aren't, but if you are, guys, you need to just give us a a shopping list and let us buy all that crap all at once. This is ridiculous. I mean, seriously, man. Okay. So, equipment store. Wait, what do you want me to buy again? Sorry, I spaced it off. Four sluice box grates. Uh, okay, these things. Four of these. Ooh, those are expensive. My goodness. Two thousand and uh, two twenty six hundred bucks a pop. Thirteen thousand six hundred forty dollars for just four of those. Really? Wow, that is super expensive. <laughs> goodness gracious. Okay. That brings our money down to one hundred twelve nine forty one. All right, let's go pick those up in a pickup truck. Since we have free gas on the pickup truck. Not my fault, guys. I don't know why that's happening. Maybe uh, maybe it's just because I'm still in tutorial mode. I don't know, but my vehicle does not seem to use gas, nor, nor does my... Um, I can't believe these things cost that much money. Really? That's BS. <laughs> my goodness. I remember uh, what's his name on season one, that mechanic guy. What? I can't remember his name. It starts with an H, I think. You know, making these things, he fabricated them out of steel. But if you, you know, you think about it, the steel that it would take to make something like that would probably be, I don't know, two, three hundred bucks at the most, and then the labor to make them, you know, another two, three hundred bucks. There's no way these are worth that much money. But they are in this game. All right, where do these go? Oh, those go up there. All right, here, let's drive around this way. Stupid stakes, man. I run over them every chance I get. Not that it does any good, because they just come back. <laughs> All right, so these go... These are the things we had to remove and then use the little shovel to get the stuff out from underneath them. So what these do, uh, I remember this from the show, what these do is these capture the larger nuggets. And they were making these, like I said, um, man, I wish I could remember that guy's name. It starts with an H, the mechanic guy. 
they were making them and they had to get them at just the right angle for them to work correctly. Oh, you know what? There's like a little ladder thing right there. Should be going up that way. All right, now what? Turn on the big generator by pushing all the start buttons inside. Okay. So everything that has a label. But there's no, wait a minute, there's no fuel in this thing. You didn't tell me to fuel it. Oh, and there is. There's 20% fuel. Okay, I guess it comes with a little fuel. Okay. Turn on the big water pump. Does that have a little fuel in it too, I hope? Yep, it's got 20%. Nice. Jump into the front end loader and pour some dirt into the shaker. Look at that shaker shaking, man. Nice. Okay, front end loader. All right, this is our very first time operating this thing. I don't think we even used this in the prologue. Um, it's not telling us how much fuel it has. Oh yeah, it does. It's got, it's got about a half a tank. Okay, pour some dirt into the shaker. It says. All right, I have. This is a very my very first time using this guy so I don't know how easy it is to control or whatever oh shit <laughs> whoops um so what if we start here okay show controls oh man does this not have mouse controls like the excavator does that's gonna suck does it have a different mode? Nope. Alright, we're going to have to use the keyboard controls for this then. Crap. Okay. Um. Trying to get it to kind of dig down into the dirt there, but it doesn't really seem to want to do that so much. Uh, why did why didn't they implement mouse controls for this? Come on, that's what I'm used to for the excavator. Okay, will that dig down? It does not want to dig down. Son of a gun! All right, let's go over to this little divot over here and see if I can get it to work that way. Like I said, I'm oh there we go. I'm just gonna have to get used to this. Okay, so um, R goes up. Whoops. And then uh, T, yeah, T lifts the bucket that way. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of getting used to. Doesn't seem to be too bad just, you know, to drive, though. So R lifts it all the way up. Guess we stop there, right? And then uh, G dumps the bucket. Now, the only thing you need, you can do is keep digging and upgrading your equipment. Oh, this is the end. Okay. The only thing you can do is keep digging and upgrading your equipment. We've taught you the basics of gold mining. Now you should go and discover new equipments that will help you to maximize the efficiency. At the beginning, I can recommend you to check the drilling machine. It will provide you information about amount of gold. Stop digging blindly. It's not good for your business. From now on, all game places will be set according to your chosen difficulty level. They will vastly change your gameplay, so make sure you learn a bit about them. Okay, don't show this message again. All right, my friends, we have um, completed the tutorial. So now what I get to do is drive around for a while and see if I can figure out uh, or get used to using the, the front loader. 
Man, I wish they would have implemented mouse controls for this because, again, that's what I'm like so tuned into right now with my, um, you know, from using the excavator. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna. This machine cannot. I'm not trying. Am I trying to exit it? Oh, I guess I was trying. <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that uh, that's it for this episode. It took a little longer than I thought it was going to, but. Um, you know, like I said, I'm going to have to get a little, get used to using the front loader now. And there's more stuff that we can add to this. So let's look at that really quick before I let you go. So we can add another one of these sluice boxes, another duplex jig and another hog pen setup, um, to, you know, to maximize things here. So we're going to do that. Wash plant system extension. Yeah. That's just telling us, you know, that, you know what we can do there. The other thing that I want to do is I want to buy that, um, uh, what was it called? The, uh, Nugginator, I think it was the thingy that allows us to wash the mats. Uh, yeah, the gold nug Nuggetator. Um, and that's only 28,000 and we're probably going to get the stationary fuel tank as well. Cause we're going to probably need that. We already got the wave table and all that kind of thing. So, so the plan as as it is right now is to get a nuggetator, a stationary fuel tank, and to uh, set up the uh, the other side of our, our our thing here. So basically another duplex jig and another one of these sluice boxes and another hog pen set up uh, below it. So basically when it's all said and done, it's set up exactly the same way as it was when we did the prolock. Oh, you know what else though? We need, we also need the conveyor belt too. So that's going to be, oh man, that's going to be another thing too, but it doesn't, it shows us a tier four setup in the journal, but I don't think the tutorial will have us do it. We, it's going to leave it up to us to figure this out when the time comes, which is fine. Cause you know, the tutorial was fun and all, but it was, it was kind of a pain in the butt too, because we had to do everything in exactly the, w the way it wanted us to. Now, now we're free to do whatever the heck we want, you know? So, all right, you guys. Well, anyway, I'm gonna let you go here and, um, I'll bring you back in the next episode when I kind of have a little bit better handle on this tier three setup. I might even go purchase some more of that equipment first. Um, or maybe I'll do that in the next episode with you guys. We'll, we'll just have to see how things go, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment to share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.